How to buy OpenAI API credits. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll show you on how you can do this easily. If you're ready to integrate powerful AI into your project, whether you want to build AI chatbots, automate tasks, or enhance your application with GPT models, getting an OpenAI API key is the first step. In this tutorial, I guide you through the process on how you can go ahead and get your first API key. You want to set it up and use it in your project, even if you are a complete beginner. By the end, you'll be ready to start coding with OpenAI's AI models in just a few minutes. And so, let's get started. Now before we proceed to our main tutorial, all of the mentioned tools will be on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. And so. The first thing that you want to do is to go ahead and sign up for an OpenAI account. Now you can just head over to your browser right here. And once inside, you want to simply search for OpenAI sign up. Now from here, you can just go ahead and open up the OpenAI.com and you want to click on the API key section right here. Basically, this will take you to your dashboard to your main account. But before we can navigate through our dashboard, you simply want to click on the sign up button. This is the first step on how you can go ahead and get your OpenAI API key. From here, we have options like your email address, your Google, your Microsoft account, or with your Apple account. If you want to go ahead and use this sign up method, you can just go ahead and do so. Or if you want to manually type your email address, you can just go ahead and put this right here. Now you can just go ahead and proceed by creating a new account and right after it will then go ahead and ask you this questions it's a birth name or a full name it's basically a full name right here so you can just go ahead and insert your name and below that you have your birthday so you can just go ahead and put your birthday right here now to proceed click on the continue button now basically right after creating your account, you are now logged into the main chat GPT right here which is owned by OpenAI. So you want to head back to your browser and from here you can simply search for the OpenAI dashboard. It will then go ahead and take us to the OpenAI platform on where we can go ahead and start building or get to know our API keys. Basically from here you have a lot of instructions, you have your image generation APIs right here that you can go ahead and use for your website. And if you want to navigate through the billing section on where we can go ahead and buy our own API credits, you can just navigate through your account setting. You can go ahead and find the setting at the top right corner of your screen by clicking beside your windows or profile icon. So you can just click on the settings of your account. And once inside, it will then take us to another dashboard on which we can edit out our organization settings. So you have your general settings right here. You have your API keys, admin keys, and more. Now, just below that, you then have the billing option. You can just click on the billing option right here. And as you can see, this does not reflect the status of your ChatGPT account. In here, you can then go ahead and click on the as payment method. You then have to enter your card number. You have your name, your cards on here. You have your billing address, address one, address two, city, postal code, state, country, province, or region. And you can then go ahead and check on the purchasing as business if you are doing so. From there, right after entering your credit card or your payment method, just navigate through the pricing below the section right here. Right after that, it will then take us to this page where you can select the OpenAI 01 or the OpenAI 03 Mini. From here, Frontier Reasoning model that supports tools like Structured and Visual 200k Contacts Lens. From here, you have $2.50 per million tokens and for the cached input, it's going to be $1.25 for 1 million inputs and lastly, $10 for 1 million inputs. You can also go ahead and choose the GPT-40 Mini, which will go ahead and be affordable for models for fast everyday tasks. Now you can just navigate through the pricing right here if you want to. You can save 50% on inputs and outputs with the batch API and run task asynchronously over 24 hours. 
now you have your fine tune models right here if you want to go ahead and use their fine tune model this is the pricing for the said models now if you scroll down basically they have their api this is the real-time api for the test the gpt 40 will range around five dollars per one million inputs which is basically this inputs right here for the gpt 40 mini it's going to be this input now the result for audio is going to be this section right here. For the Assistant API, the price is Assistant API is not priced separately. Tokens are built at the custom chosen language models input and output rates. The API supports GPT-40 and the GPT-40 mini. Now for the Chat Completions API, you have Chat Completions API is once again not priced separately. And if you scroll down once more, you can then go ahead and see the Explorer detailed billing. So you can just go ahead and click on the billing right here and it will take us to the billing page on where we could focus our attention most. Now, for the GPT-40, the input is going to be $2.50 and the cash input is going to be $1.25. Now the output is going to be this one. You can just go ahead and refer to this page. So go ahead and know what kind of model you are getting. So from here, you have your tax tokens, you have your audio tokens, you have your fine tuning API right here, you have your assistant API, you have the transcription and speech generation, you have your image generation for this one. Basically, this is the entirety pricing of the open AI model. You can just go ahead and navigate through this page in order to go ahead and know about the pricing for OpenAI. And so now that you know the pricing for OpenAI, you can now go ahead and get started by creating your own API. To do that, you can just go ahead and click on the developer quick start and ask for your organization name. You can just go ahead and put your name right here. Right after that, you have this pop-up menu on which you want to select what best describes you. And so you can just go ahead and click on create organization. In here, you have your email. So I'll just go ahead and click on I'll invite my team later. From here, you have your API key and you have your project name. So you can just go ahead and edit this out. And from there, you simply want to click on the generate API key. From there, you will be able to generate your API key from the open AI dashboard right here. So you simply want to click on continue. Right after that, it will then go ahead and take us to this page. So you can go ahead and quickly use that API key right there. And so if this video has been helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll make sure to see you again next time. And as always, thank you.